One of the problems with um, using Rebels um, vid is that if you want to do any long running processes or um, expensive um, web services, it can block the um, user interface. So this is um, my solution. I'm going to use uh, 0MQ to communicate to um, 8th, which is a fourth um, variant. And I'm going to send the tasks, the job to 8th, which is then going to spin up a task, which will make the um, soap call in this case, and then send the results back um, to um, 0, 0 MQ, which is then going to be picked up by um, Rimmel. So this is my um, uh, vid Rebel client. So I'm just going to download um, alt JSON and then run that and also um, load up 0MQ. So create a new 0MQ context which um, I'm then going to attach the um, sender and receiver um, sockets to. And since they're going to be um, server sockets for the workers to connect to, the eighth worker will connect to, um, so they are in this um, server format. So this is my um, vid layout. I'm going to enter a, um, uh, well there's my password for the API call, there's my customer field, I put the, a number in there, and then I'm going to populate these fields um, as uh, from the data that's returned and here I've got a print which is going to just print testing and also another button here that will just read rebel.com and print it to the console this is to show that this is all asynchronous and non-blocking um, so clear fields create the job here so in the uh, GUI we have a, um, a timer here so every second we're going to update this with the time clock but at the same time, we're also going to check to see if a valid customer code has been entered. And if so, then do the SOAP call. And then also check to see if there's a response. So both of those are going to connect up to 0MQ. <clears throat> Alright, so there's the 8th um, code. Uh, this uses a minimum of 8 to 0, 5. <clears throat> Because this version um, is able to download to a lower a um, previous version of TLS, which um, secure web uses. This is the um, the map, the JSON map that we're going to use. And we're going to populate these um, this uh, parameters and API and action fields. So there's our skeleton here with those missing null nulled. <clears throat> So this is just a word that ups one map from another. This prepares the um, API um, map, <coughs> the um, parameters map, and then the sub action. And it's all done in this one word here. This is a 0MQ. Um, there's the context, and then uh, we have a pull and a push um, socket. This deadditionalizes. This sends results back to zero MQ. This makes the actual um, so call. This version is modified so we can set to a lower um, TLS version. So this is the uh, job here. The um, this every second, one second sleep, pulls a job from zero MQ. If there's no jobs, it doesn't do anything. If there's a an array of jobs here and um, this is a lambda which it then processes calls each of the goes to each of them so applies this lambda to each of the um, elements on the array and here's the job here okay let's have a look okay let's um, start my um, eighth client first of all so you can see that it pauses for um, a second, checks to see if there are any zero MQ jobs. If there aren't any, it just sleeps, otherwise it'll do them. And here's my rebel client. 
Let's paste my password in here. Well, maybe I have to type it in. And let's give a client number. So you can see that it um, populated those fields. So let's do it again and show that it's asynchronous. So we pulled web data and it still populated it. Let's try it again. So the GUI is still rest working even though we were doing a soap pool. Okay, thanks for watching.